In this demo, we have a DHCP server available on the network. So we are accessing the ILO configurations via the HTML5 integrated remote console. If DHCP is not available, a KVM would be required to configure the ILO static IP address. If the default password has not been changed, there will be a sticker on the lid of the system that will have the default password. If you are using a KVM to access the ILO settings, power up or power cycle the system to access system utilities. If you have DHCP, you can use one of the integrated remote consoles to power cycle the system. Press F9 on your keyboard to enter System Utilities. Use the keyboard or mouse to navigate to System Configuration. Navigate to ILO 5 Configuration Utility. Navigate to Network Options. Navigate to the DHCP Enable option and turn it off. Set the static IP address, subnet mask, and gateway IP address. Press F12 to save and exit, and then choose Yes, Save Changes. The system will restart the ILO and reboot the system. If you are accessing the ILO via DHCP address, you will need to change the IP address of your system to match the networking settings that were just set. After the ILO resets, you should be able to access it within a few moments. If you are accessing the ILO via the network, open one of the remote consoles to finish the configuration. If the IP address was changed via a KVM, press OK and reboot as soon as that option is available. The system will now reboot and the IP address change is complete. Alternately, if no changes need to be made in the system utilities, the ILO IP address can be changed by navigating the ILO network port screen. After an IP address is changed, the ILO will need to be reset to take effect. 